What's up guys, welcome to Free Dive Passion. Now the thing about free diving is there's no one reason why anybody would want to free dive. Everybody doesn't have the same aims or goals or intentions when they first get into free diving. And even then, once you've been free diving for a long time, everybody has their own specific journey and path. And this is one of the things I love about the sport. Everybody's journey is going to be individual. Even if you're doing the exact same dives as somebody else and you're progressing at the same time as somebody else, your individual experience can differ massively from that other person who's just been replicating you the entire way through their um, career or their time free diving. And for me personally as a coach, this is the thing which keeps me in the sport and keeps me passionate. Being able to explore all the different routes that it's possible to take to reach this same destination and then trying to see like which individual person or character is going to suit each of these routes which I already know is going to help them to reach their target. Now I've made some videos while I was in Dahab. I've got some friends out there who I really respect who are very good coaches but also very different from each other. So I think it's very interesting for you to see my approach but also to see the approach of different coaches um, and how they are, could help you or anybody else to reach a target. You'll see four different approaches to reach the same point. In this video I asked them the simple question what is freediving? You'd think there would be kind of like a generic answer to this, right? But as you'll see, there isn't. So free diving is about being in the water. It's being about under the water. It's about feeling the way that you move through the water. It's the minimal amount of equipment that you've got with the minimal amount of effort that you can get into it to move yourself through the water. It doesn't have to be in the open water. This can happen in a pool, but it just doesn't match if you can get in the open water and get all the colors and the brightness and the fish around you. And just get in that environment and forget about everything that's going on else that's going on in your world that's when free diving really matters for me personally the way i see free diving and the way i like to put forward free diving to the people who come to me for coaching would be as just another form of yoga now the literal definition of yoga is yoke uh, for those of you who don't know, a yoke will be what attaches, let's say, a, a donkey or a buffalo to a cart. It's, it's, it binds two things together. A more literal definition of yoga would be to unite. To unite prana and apana, to unite the mind, body and soul without wanting to sound too new age and uh, hippie-ish. But in many ways, freediving is trying to do the same thing. You're mastering your body. You're mastering very subtle details of your body during equalization. You're gaining control of your mind. You're gaining control of your breath you're focusing your mind and then you're having your mind and your body work together to perform quite an incredible thing and quite a difficult thing while maintaining this unity and this focus so to get better at freediving you need to become a better being essentially Every aspect of you as a being needs to improve the mind, the body, the soul. It's all being trained if you're training in freediving in a correct in a correct and efficient way. So for me, freediving kind of represents a path and an intention. The intention may be to get better at freediving. The intention may just be you want to get better for the love of freediving, but that journey 
to reach that target is going to make you better as a being, better as a human being. Freediving. I, I think there's different ideas of freediving that are worth mentioning. So what I, I like a lot uh, is to see freediving as, a, as an obvious part of holistic swimming, as I would call it. So whenever you, you swim and you don't swim with this idea of swimming is doing this on the surface or doing this very efficiently, but as something that, where you're free to move, where, which what you do spontaneously and for your own pleasure, or, or for other reasons, doesn't matter. As soon as, as, the, as a strict way of, of, of swimming is left, then uh, the next idea of, of swimming would involve freediving. So it's kind of, I, I like to see it as, a, as, a, or, as something that comes up almost automatically if somebody have this idea of swimming is something that, where I move freely in the water. It's like, like a part of swimming. Um, the second idea of freediving I like uh, and it's kind of an objective way to look at it is it's very simple, it's swimming underwater. Any, anything more specific I don't like to, uh, I, I, I wouldn't take responsibility for it because it excludes things that are clearly freediving. Right? So, for example, somebody who, who swims underwater and enjoys this a lot and actually does it gracefully. When I, when I look at this and I look at some other, other people who, who know they are freedivers, then I feel like this is, this is, the, um, this is clearly freediving and it's maybe even more pure in some way. So I, I wouldn't exclude anything and say it's underwater swimming. Um, and I like to, to add another idea of freediving, which is not in the objective, but in the, in the, in the subjective. So freediving, when you approach it from the subjective um, position, uh, I would say it's a, it's an awareness, or freediving is what is the outcome if somebody who is aware of the possibilities is swimming. It's kind of the the necessary ne necessary thing that will happen if if somebody swims with a with an awareness. Um, and then you can you can you can choose. You can say it's it's what happens when somebody swims with an awareness, or or kind of sum it up and say, freediving is the awareness of possibilities as a swimmer. Um, yes, and I like this a lot because when you when you make this step and say freediving is not is is an awareness, is kind of opposing this idea of freediving as a technique. And. Um, this, I feel, is a, is, a, is a more grounding way to look at freediving that make, makes everything possible. If you want to make it a technique, you need first to be able to, to see it as a possibility. And it's, of course, best done out of a, out of a high awareness. I mean, it's, and, and for anything else, obviously, it's also good. So, yeah, uh, that's my thought on that. <laughs> Just question. <laughs> okay, um, free diving. Um, is, uh, for me, it's a tool for growth, development, with the help of free diving. I'm shaping, let's say, my mind and body. Because um, the way I see free time, you know, to become deeper and to work on many different aspects. That's uh, relaxation, flexibility, strength, focus, awareness, coordination, control. Uh, all these things are helpful not only for free diving <laughs> you know so by 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 
practicing freediving, you know, I actually develop uh, aspects that are very important for me. Right? So, it's a tool for the job. Cool guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really want to thank Gus, Andreas and Brian for sharing their knowledge and their time and just trying to help you guys out there, give you guys a different perspective on what freediving is all about. If you enjoyed the video, I'm going to be putting out more of these videos with us four and um, quite regularly over the coming weeks. If you like the video, then like, share and subscribe as usual, help support the channel. If you want to buy a super sick t-shirt, then you can follow the link in the description. And until next time guys, take it easy and dive safe.